yeah, a whole new world I've been open to of Star Wars prequel uh, gifts. Um, yes. But but it's it kind of like having been somebody that had never watched them. Well, we will get back to Mandalorian, but having been somebody that had never watched them, I just was really it rammed home to me. That from the outside, I'd always look in and look at episode one and go, geez, that Darth Maul just seemed like such a badass character. Why? Like, why didn't he pop up anymore? And, like, obviously, I came to learn he's killed off in episode one. And I was like, yeah. well, well... Not and then, killed off, but chopped in half. <laughs> well, chopped in half. And I was watching it when it happened. Presumed dead. <laughs> Presumed dead. Obviously, he comes back later on, spoilers, yes. in Clone Wars and Rebel. But he's Rebel set yeah, after Rebels. these? Rebels, Rebels is set, yeah, after um, episode three. Oh, okay, okay. So Darth Maul obviously comes back, but given, like, in movie, the movie setting, you watch him get killed off. One, oh, underwhelming as hell when he gets killed. Like, it's just a mm. swift swipe of the lightsaber and he's gone, or he's cut in half. But two, it's just like they built him up to be such a badass assassin. It just felt like a wasted opportunity it's like he could have been to me especially as a kid growing up he was scary as hell that to me was the oh this is like darth vader not anyone else you come across yeah what's interesting about the um about those movies is clearly george lucas had a plan that he wanted three different villains for each or three sort of not the main villain. Obviously, Darth Sidious is the main villain, the main Sith that yeah. they're all trying to work out who who he is and where he's pulling strings from. But George Lucas wanted to set up sort of the three... It, it's I always look at it, so the three aspects of what Anakin becomes, like the three aspects of mm. Anakin's dark side, his Darth Vader side. Like we've got Darth Maul, who is obviously the anger and the hatred, like just pure rage, you know, expressed through red and black and literal horns on it. Like he's... He's the angry side of it, right? Mm. And then we've got in episode two, we've got um, Count Dooku, yep. who is the the Jedi gone bad. So that's that aspect of Anakin. Okay, yeah, yeah. And then in the third one, you'll meet General Grievous, who I'm sure you're aware of. Yeah. He's, you know, big robot with four arms and four lightsabers, and this would make a great addition to my collection. Yep. And that, and that is the sort of... Uh, an organic life form, but the only way to survive is being more machine than man at that point, if mm. that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. So well, that makes sense. Uh, so clearly he, yeah. So clearly in the first one, they just wanted to make this character that they knew they could use, but yeah, kill off for the next one to come along. Cause like they set up only two, you know, only ever a, an apprentice and a master for the Sith. So mm. they can't have a bunch of bad guys running, running around. 